Hey guys, it's Karen. Welcome to another episode of Paint Pouring. Um, this is basically a continuation from the last video because uh, I felt like I'm on a roll and got some, some dinner in my belly. And I'm really not going to chat too much this one. I'm just going to do a couple more tiles. So back-to-back um, -back tile videos, I guess, um, as I prep my boxes, give them time to cure, and then resin them and have them up for sale in time for Father's Day in a few weeks. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to hop right to it. You can see, hopefully, by the lovely mess that's on my cake spinner that I just did a really pretty one. Uh, I'll show you all of them at the end. And that was a six by eight. And I'll be right back. I need to uh, add more house paint. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. Had to make up another batch of uh, house paint. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm gonna do um, a pour on here, a blow out, blow dry, blow out with spin. And I'm gonna use the same colors as I just did that you haven't seen yet. And I'm gonna put them side by side at the end. And I just did it with white cell activator and this time I'm going to do it with black. So I just need to remember my order. So this is a six by eight tile. Chloe, I'm filming, honey. Chloe. Thanks, honey. So nickel, quinacridone nickel, azel gold. I think I used phalo turquoise on my last one. This time I just changed my mind and went with teal. Black cell activator. All right, let's hit it. because I was so enamored and I know I'm gonna lose a bunch of this but oh my goodness let me give a puff in the middle here
This isn't as nice as the one I, I did off camera. Too much turquoise in the middle. As usual, that'll get spun off. So with that, just kind of tempted to make a pattern with this because I don't like all that turquoise in the middle. But let me hold that thought and blow this out first or spin it out I mean and then we'll see. Yeah let me do that first. that look at that here actually that that kind of turned out cool I don't like this whatever that weird thing is right there let's see if we can try and save it I don't know if I can but I'm gonna try Maybe I just make some crazy patterns. Why don't I do that and see what happens since I'm not crazy about the middle of this being all teal. So let's play for a second. I don't know if this will look stupid or not. But we won't know unless we play. Where else can we do this? Like right in here? Just make some curly cues, make it all psychedelic. Just have some fun. Where can we put this guy? Or are we good? I think we might be good. I just splooged right here, so let me stick it right here. And this time we'll squish it down and then spread it out. That's kind of fun. I'm, I should probably do like one through the middle or something. I don't think I have enough on my uh, cake stand though to do it. You know, to do something like kind of fun in the middle and take it up and then stretch it out, and make little curly cues and things. That's psychedelic now. Wow. I might, I might have a change of heart because it is kind of a focal point to the crazy sides. Let's spin this out. Just a little. What do we think? Somebody say something. Talk to me. I kind of feel like I need to do it through the middle, right? Like, just go meow. Well, I need more paint. I have a bunch here. Let me spin it the other way and see if I get more paint on my on my uh, turntable. 
that I could use for the middle, like this stuff. This looks fun. Still has some turquoise in it, but that's okay. And maybe we'll stick this, how? Oh, let me think of my pattern. Can I make it over to the other line? Come up alongside it? Oh, what is that, Karen? I don't know, now it's getting too crazy, right? Getting too, too crazy. So let me do something along this hard line and run it through my boo-boo right there. And just have a, ooh, I like those colors. And just kind of take those and turn it. Oh my God, that's really psychedelic. Let me spin this out. Oh, I gotta cut that piece of paper off. Hold on a second, that's driving me bonkers. those scissors I don't know what do we think of this let me um, clear out it's hard to see with all the paint so let me take that away so we can see what it really looks like oh my gosh that part right there is so pretty can I just stick it on a corner or something Over here, will you go over there for me? Stretch it out. Oh yeah, that corner needed a something something anyway. Wow. That's wild looking. I'm keeping it. I don't know if it'll go into a, be an insert for a box, but I'm kind of loving it. Anyway, so I'll give you a little sneak peek and we'll move on to the next. All right, I uh, can't turn all the way. Like that. It's a crazy, crazy one. Save the paint. So keep that guy. And I'll put him right over here. Oh yeah, that one's fun. Next, let's see if we do a better job with the next one. Uh, the next one's just a little guy. This is one for a, uh, I think a dark uh, four and a quarter box. So this would just be a little baby. Still want to try those same colors again? Let me see. So maybe it was this. We're going to go back to the phalo turquoise instead of the teal. to the purple and that's pretty dark so that definitely calls for a white cell activator
expecting that. It really didn't want to sew up either. It was fighting me. I don't know if I like this color combo so much. Definitely does not want to sew up either. All right, it might be pretty. Maybe. I'm just gonna throw a little bit. Um, I do, I always love purple and green together though. I'm just gonna throw some on this corner just to help it fly off. And it looks like it's ready already. All right. It's interesting. I'll go the other way a second. This one's gonna make me sorry that I put um, something on this corner. Because if it was the two corners with that um, cool blending of colors, I'd be pretty happy. It is a different color combo though. I'm not sure I like it. I might grab this. I don't know if I put you on this corner where well, I like you better. Let's see. What if I take some of you? I don't think I don't I don't like the colors. I don't know. It looks like a turtle. Yeah. Let me um let me clear this so I can really see these colors, but I don't think I don't know. Yeah. Oh no, I just uh, no. All right, don't like those that color combination with the white at all. So I'm gonna do that one over. I just I don't like that. I just I just think it's ugly. So just a little bit of paint. Let's try it again. Let's do the Azo Gold. And then the purple. Try teal again. I'm gonna put turquoise on top of that teal. We're gonna double up on the turquoise teal combo. Let's do four colors this time. I guess I'll try the white again. I need to uh, switch hair dryers too. I have, my, I have my big one plugged in for the bigger tile, so I'm gonna swap out and plug in my little guy.
stuck my hair dryer in it. For Pete's sakes. The struggle is real, y'all. The struggle is real. Alright, let's pretend all that never happened. Tile number two. I'm not going to edit that out either, too, because everybody has a fail. Everybody. Multiple. Multiple. All right, let's switch up. Let's go teal first. Turquoise. Go even darker with the purple. And then go light with the Azo Gold. Okay, that looks pretty. Like, our, I just like the puddle. That looks really pretty. All right, don't screw up this little one, Karen. You could do it. Chloe, can you take that upstairs, please? <coughs> Cover your mouth, please. That looks much prettier than that last guy. <clears throat> yeah, much prettier. Just giving out a second from the middle. Let's just give that a baby spin. Note to self, trim these before you start filming. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, a little more oomph. Ugh. gonna cheat again we're gonna steal some of these gorgeous blue lace cells and we're gonna put them on this blank spot right here hopefully carefully turn doesn't have to be perfect some of it's gonna get taken off anyway Yeah, but I'll just put you right here in this spot. And go sideways. Let that run down this. 
this way. Oh, that's pretty. Giving myself a pep talk. I'm gonna have to cut off the, I'm gonna just stand here and cut off all four. <laughs> oh, these poor scissors. They don't even want to cut now. now. Stop it. Stop it. That's gorgeous. I don't think I do any more spinning. One more, and I think I'm done. So, I guess I should post the videos pretty much close back to back, huh? Wipe up my spatula, scoop this guy up, give you a quick little preview of that one. Yeah, that turned out great. Make sure I have a cookie cutter. Sorry about that, my phone rang, I forgot to put it off. Um, <laughs> and I didn't realize it was recording, but that's okay, you didn't miss anything other than me scraping my first effort on the long skinny tile. So I'm gonna try again, this last one of the night. And what do I do? Do I do a swipe? I don't know what to do with this one. Let's use, or just do a big old puddle. Let's just do a puddle, just one. Even though it's long and skinny, and I think that's intimidating me, and I'm not gonna let it. Even though it might be a, a literally a stretch to get um, to those four ends, we're going to go for it. I got to get off of some mailing list I have from, because, uh, my phone number has a Miami area code. And I get robocalls all the time of some very concerned person who's worried about my extended warranty on my car. And I just, it just drives me nuts. Um, do I want to add that Azo Gold this time? I think I'll skip it. And we'll go with, I guess we'll go with the white cell activator. Wish me luck blowing this one out. But I'm going to just treat it like a square. I don't know why. It's probably foolish, but that's what I'm going to do. Add an extra dollop of white and just go for it. Let's put a little purple in that corner. I'm addicted to this part too, by the way. The whole little scoop thing. It's just such great fun. Even if it just gets, you know, if you're spinning, if it just gets spun off, it's just fun. Ah, I like the colors of this very, very much. And if I can gently spin add some more here blow a little bit of that white off this one has this one has potential I didn't really want to have to stick my head in here again because my uh, container is totally grody by now but here goes
know there's something under there. Come on up. Sorry for my big head. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's just give that a second because I'm, I'm grooving on the colors. It might be, I'm gonna let this sit for a couple seconds because I think I'm gonna like pick it up and tilt it this way and tilt a little off before I spin it just so I can um, balance out the colors and not have all the purple and green down here and none up here. And if I spin it now, that's exactly what will happen. Oh my gosh, I am in dire need of a shower. Um, let me see, are you ready? Can I scoop you up? Let me see, can you move? The part where I just blew, are you ready to shake loose a little? I might not need you to. I might not need you to. Yeah, because I want this one to work, definitely. Come on, loose. Give it a bang. I don't like the bang tile, though. It's gonna wreck into you. Let's use the old finger trick. Help some of this along. You. Oh, it slid down. Well, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Let me put it back a little bit. All right, this is just going to get a little baby spin. That's something else I dumb I always do is give it a baby spin that does nothing. Like, you have to use a little bit of force. Just not for very long. <gasps> this one's turning out, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. One more. Are you them flying off a little bit? Let me see. Stop right there. Oh, that's my favorite of the day. Those colors together. That's amazing. Yep, that's done. Let me, um, I need to uh, reconfigure my little station with all the tiles on it. So let me do that real quick. And then um, I'll get you done for a close up on everything. Be right back. Plus, you know, ew. Oh my gosh, how come I never noticed this feature? So I just tried a new thing where I turned out all my lights and then hit the flash on video. And look how I can show you this without the uh, reflection. Amazing! Anyway, here's the first guy. We'll call him uh, Mr. Patchwork. I don't know about this one. It is crazy. I mean, there are some cool bits and bobs in here. It is wild looking. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to walk away from this one for an hour or so and revisit and see what my uh, gut tells me. So there's the first one. Here's the one I did off camera right before um, that was the inspiration um, for that piece. Oh, now I'm getting the uh, flash thing. Um, this one here is probably one of my very, very best, I gotta say. Oh, that's my hand. Get your hand out of the way. Uh, just stunning was that one. And then, uh, what else did we do? I can't, did we do that? That might have been the last video. 
That was definitely the last video. Oh, we had the little guy here. He's awesome too. That one there, the little four and a quarter. And then finally, the um, four and a quarter by eight, I believe, this last one here. I love that one. Really, really super happy with that. So, we'll see how they dry. I'll ponder over uh, that patchwork one. Did I show you this one? Yeah, that's from last video, right? I'm getting them all confused now. Yeah, those are from the last video. That's it for me. Come up high, try to get a bunch in. Now they're spread out too much. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe. Support your fellow artists. Sorry, I'm screwing this up now. Y'all have a great night and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay guys, I'm back with the dried results from the last, uh, this video and the last one. Um, I just took, they're dried, but obviously not cured, but I popped them into the boxes just so you could see um, what they look like. So this is the first one, the red on red. It's pretty. I just think it's a little boring. But I mean, it's it's a make would make a perfectly lovely gift. I'm not going to redo it or anything. Um, a little too monochromatic for me. Um, over here we have the dark brown with the red and blue. Um, I really like the tile. I don't know if it goes um, that well with the brown, but I think I'm going to leave it be. This guy here is fabulous because it has more contrast to go with that red. Um, I don't know, it's not picking up again. There's a lot more of the uh, teal blue than what's showing up on screen. I have this little guy here that I filmed off camera, but it's all very, very muted purples and um, browns with the teal and the green. It's lovely, I'll leave that. There's a crazy one here, I love that guy. It's just, you know, something unexpected. There's the blue one, that's just, that one is amazing. And then uh, we got the green and blue one here. That's really pretty. Um, we got this guy here. That looks amazing in this color in the honey box. So I'm going to leave it here. And then this really crazy tile that I did. Uh, I can't remember if it was the first or second video. I've been uh, going back and forth to see if I want to put it here in the honey because it, it kind of matches some of the cells like this or if I want to put it into the black. Oh my gosh, that's really dramatic. I think black might win the day for this particular tile. So I'll have to make something for that, that honey colored box. So that's it. Everything. Phew. Done. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.